In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the spark plugs on this Cadillac SRX. Let's get into it. We're going to use a T30 socket. There's a screw right here. Just take that screw out. Take off the oil cap. Just set it aside. We're going to grab the cover and just pop it up. Put that to the side. I'm just going to take the oil cap and just put it back on just so we don't drop anything in there. Remove this bolt. Use a 10 millimeter socket. And it's a caged bolt, so it's just going to stay with the housing. Pop this hose off. Just grab the hose, twist it back and forth. We're going to loosen up the worm clamps. Use an 8 millimeter socket. One right there. And loosen that one up. Grab the snorkel, slide that off there, and slide it off the throttle body. And in the back, there is a rubber grommet. Just pull straight up, and it slides out. Disconnect the connector right here. There's a little lock tab. Just slide that off and slide the connector off. Just take the retainer off the other wire and slide that out of the way. For the map sensor, disconnect that connector. Push down on the tab and slide it off. Now follow this hose down and there's a connector down here. You want to slide it towards the front of the vehicle and then it pops up. So you can see this little tab right here. I'm going to slide that forward and then this pops up. Follow this hose over behind the throttle body and you're just going to push up on a little tab. And then you want to slide this towards the passenger side of the vehicle. There we go. That pops off. So you can see this little tab, you're pushing that up, and then it slides out. And the retainer right here, pop that up, and we'll just slide this out of the way. These two bolts right here use a 10 millimeter socket. Take those out. We're gonna take the hose off at the reservoir. Just use some hose clamp pliers. Move that down, and then grab the hose. Give it a twist, slide it off. You might lose a little bit of coolant and make sure you're not doing this when the engine's hot. And then slide this out of the way. Where these wires go on the side, there is some, a couple attachments. You would just wanna pop those up just with a trim tool. Just like that. And there's a push pin right here. Pop that off. Just set that to the side. Take this bolt out right here. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take that out. And this cover comes out. You can just push that to the side. You don't have to take it off completely. It's just gonna make taking the intake up easier. We're going to remove this bolt right here. Use a 10 millimeter socket. It's just holding a bracket down. Take that out. Take that bracket, slide that to the side. Behind the throttle body, there is a connector. You want to disconnect that connector. Let's see, there is a lock tab on it. I have to move back first. There we go. So slide that tab up 
and then you can push the button down and disconnect the connector. Using a 13 millimeter socket, take these six bolts out from on top of the manifold. Now we can just slide those out. Slide the manifold up, we'll pull it forward slightly. And if you want to just leave the manifold here and do your work that you need to do, you can. We're going to pop this hose off though, this vacuum hose, just to get it out of our way completely. We're just going to use some, we're just going to use some hose clamp pliers. Move that hose clamp down. And take this wire off. I mean, take this hose off. And I'll use a pick. Just get underneath the hose. And slide the hose off, keep that out of the way. And there's one more retainer holding that on. And just use a trim tool, pop that last retainer off. And slide the manifold off. We're gonna disconnect the connector on this back coil. Just use a pick, move that lock tab back, push down on the lock and slide the connector off. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen up the bolt. Once it's loose, grab the coil and it slides right up. Before we take the spark plug out, you wanna take some compressed air and just spray down the hole. If there's any dirt or debris down there, you don't want it falling into the engine. Take a 5 8 spark plug socket. And there's the old spark plug. Take the new spark plug, put it in your spark plug socket. And I'm just going to double check the gap. This should be about 40 thousandths or one millimeter, which it is. Most spark plugs come pre-gapped. Now very carefully slide it back down the hole. Get the threads started by hand. And I'm gonna to torque this to 13 foot-pounds. Slide it out. Take the coil and just a little bit of dielectric grease. Just put some on the end of that. Slide the coil in place. Tighten down the bolt, snug it down, take the connector, line it up and lock it down. And the process will be the same for all the other ones. Now remove the gasket and just take a rag. I'm just gonna wipe this off. Let's 
connected. Take the gasket and line this up. You want to replace that gasket with a new one. Take the intake, slide it in position. Make sure the wires are out of the way. We'll take this hose that goes to the brake booster, slide that over. Slide that on and put the bolts in. Now we're going to torque these bolts to 18 foot-pounds, working our way from the center outward. And go around again, double check. And hook this hose up down below, right there. Make sure the wiring harnesses come out. Connect the map sensor. other bracket in the back, get that lined up, plug that in as well, plug the connector in, and take the bolt, the bracket right here, Oops. make sure you line the bracket up, Snug it down and take this retainer for the harness, get this lined up, push that down. Now line this up. And put the bolt in and we'll tighten that down. The wiring harness back in place. We secure that. Take the coolant hose, line that up, go attach that to the reservoir. And move the clamp. the bolts in. Longer one's going to go there, shorter one right here. And we'll tighten these down. And take this hose. It's going to go around the back side. that to the solenoid, 
push down right here. And you can take this connector, push that retainer on, and plug it into the throttle body. Take the snorkel and line it up. Over the throttle body first, over the air filter box. Push the grommet down. Tighten the bolt down here. Push this tube on. And tighten down the worm clamps. Snug. And snug that down. Take the cap off, oil cap. Slide this cover back on. Push down the grommets. Now you can put the cap back on. Take the bolt. Get that started. And snug it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.